What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Tim with Rolling with the Lynches. Um, we are on the road. Everything's official as you all probably have already seen. Um, so today we're actually going to start our um, some of our cooking videos. Um, me and Jody are both uh, chefs. She's a pastry chef and I'm a culinary chef. Um, we both graduated from Escoffier in Boulder. Um, so we're hoping that maybe this helps some of y'all as far as prepping and cooking on the RV. And so feel free to watch and enjoy. If you have any questions, just comment, subscribe, and follow us. Uh, we're in uh, Minko, Oklahoma today. We're at a relative's house. We're gonna have a barbecue tonight. So um, actually, we are. I'm gonna show you the first recipe that we're gonna go with. It's an easy hors d'oeuvre that we can prepare and bring our own contribution to the table. So. Uh, what they're called is pinwheels um, and so I'll give you a shot here what they look like all right so what we have here are the fixings of the pinwheels um, so you have your salsa you can use any salsa and on these ingredients you can use whatever you want as far as the ingredient goes you don't have to use Philadelphia cream cheese or paste and all that kind of stuff but this is how we do it and so um, we got a block of cream cheese that's been softened. You take two tablespoons of taco seasoning, two tablespoons of salsa, one can of black olives. Um, these were sliced, we couldn't get diced, but we have this cool chopper because we're cheating today. And then you can get green chilies in that size as well. If you get the diced ones, then that's all you need. We're actually doing a double batch, so I use two blocks of those and double everything else. Um, we're using the whole green chilies. I'm going to chop those up. I figure four whole green chilies should be good to go. And then we have our tortillas. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all assembled up. All right. So due to the magic of television, we have our mixture mixed up here. Those simple ingredients. All right. We use the extra large tortillas. Um, flour I mean I've tried it on corn it's not bad but um, I mean if you're gluten free you're good with corn but I think they're best with the flour tortillas all right so what we're gonna do is we'll take some of the yummy mixture and I'm just gonna spread it we we'll start on the first half we're not gonna go completely across it okay all right kind of go about halfway almost two-thirds and I'll show you why here in a second. All right, doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see. All right, so what we're gonna do is you just take it and you go ahead and just start rolling it up. Hence the word pinwheels, right? Okay, so as you're rolling it, you wanna keep it tight enough and you'll see that some of the filling is starting to spread. And if it doesn't look like it's gonna make it all the way to the edge, can add just a little bit more okay and then you roll it up all right once you get done with all the tortillas um, I would recommend refrigerating them so that the cream cheese hardens back up basically um, since you brought the cream cheese to room temperature they're a little tricky to slice um, with it being you know almost at room temperature so we're gonna get these in we're gonna get these rolled we're gonna get them in the chiller and I will show you what happens next. All right, everybody. So we got them chilled off and uh, there they are. So we're gonna go ahead and get these sliced up. And so, so basically um, for the recipe, we're looking at one batch would be one block of cream cheese at room temperature. One small can of diced green chilies one small can of diced black olives, two tablespoons of taco seasoning, and two tablespoons of the salsa of your choice. So once you get that mixed up, and like you see in the assembly, chill them for about an hour, and we'll go ahead and get them sliced up. So what you do is you got that tortilla here, and you can see that it didn't go all the way to the end. So we're gonna cut that off to show the pinwheel there and these pieces it's a written rule it's just the way it is that whoever cuts this up gets these these are mine not the order I mean I'll get some of the other ones don't get me wrong but these are mine 
I earned these. Right? Okay. So, um, I cut them about the thickness of my finger. So as you can see, all right? Doesn't that look good? See, it's cream cheese, goody yumminess all up in there. All right? So then we get them cut up. And the cool thing about these is that um, when you serve them, people are gonna want the recipe. They love them. They can't stop eating them. And they're just super easy to make and super easy to share the recipe. You can just tell people or write it down real quick. Um, last minute potlucks, um, last minute barbecues, uh, birthday parties. I mean, this is kind of like a go-to for our house. And we always make a double batch because even if we have leftovers, they're better the next day, like most leftovers. And so um, they actually last in the refrigerator. We put them in a Ziploc bag and just kind of pick at them um, up to about two to three days. And so um, my wife Jody actually likes when we just make them for us or for like picnics and stuff. Um, we actually cut them a little thicker, um, more of like uh, egg roll, like a small egg roll or spring roll size. Um, and you can eat that as a meal, I mean, technically. And I mean, you can put anything you want in these. Uh, you want to kick up the spice instead of green chilies, use diced jalapenos. Um, to me, that is really good. Um, if you don't like black olives, you don't have to use them. I think they make it taste different. Um, if you do use them, my daughter hates olives, but tears these up because they're diced. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. She's nine. So anyway, so yeah. So once we get them all sliced up, the other thing that's cool is if you use all the tortillas, they'll fit back in the tortilla bag and you can chill them that way. But once we get done, this is what it looks like. Yep, even on a paper plate, it looks like a professional hors d'oeuvre. That's right. All right, y'all. You stay safe out there. Happy travels. Rolling with the lynches. Cooking with the lynches. Have a good day.